Y'all remember a game called Bloody Knuckles? Two kids with clearly no sense. Well, actually 25 cents to be exact. One would put their knuckles face down on a desk like so, and the other one would try to slide a quarter as hard and as fast as they can at their knuckles. And just like the name of the game states, the goal is to make the other person's knuckles bloody and quit. What psycho made up this game? I had the utter audacity to be in the fifth, sixth grade, playing with the upperclassmen, like the ninth graders, 10th graders, eighth graders, dudes that were kind of built like men. These kids' hands were strong from playing football and, and masturbating. I wasn't doing that yet. And here's the crazier part. We enjoyed it. There were some kids that would sharpen the edge of their quarters to make it sharper to rip your knuckles to shreds. Why did we play so many violent games in the 90s, man? Hell, this right here wasn't even the only Bloody Knuckles game. There was another one that I'll do a part two on. Yeah, our generation might be tougher than a generation younger than us. But let me tell you something. This is why we need therapy. We were playing these violent games for fun. Do y'all remember a game? called Bloody Knuckles. Not to be confused with this version of Bloody Knuckles or what some people called quarters. This version of Bloody Knuckles was just as psychotic. Two people would put their fists together like so and they would just punch each other in the fist until either one quit or one started bleeding. Why were we doing this at such a young age? We was playing this game in middle school, high school, some kids in elementary. For what? No rhyme or reason behind this game besides trying to make somebody quit. Now, from what I know, this is how most people play. This is how we play. But there are other versions that I have seen play where people play it like kind of like hot hands, meaning you actually had the opportunity to move your fist out the way when somebody swung. But the way we played, you didn't have a chance. You just had to take it. You had to get socked out. So let me know if you played this version of Bloody Knuckles also. And what did you call this game in your city? Do y'all remember a game called Peg? Now, that's not actually what we called it growing up, but for community guideline purposes, the name that we called it rhymed with fluicide. Now, how we played it where I was from was you got a little rubber ball like this, you threw it against the wall, and you had to catch it bouncing off the wall. Now, if you didn't catch it, and it hits your hand or any part of your body, you had to run as fast as you could to get to the wall while everybody had a chance to sock you out. Now, some people played with like three people, so it wasn't as bad. But if you was a dog, you was playing with like eight to 15 people at once. And when you played with a lot of people, you had people at the front, the middle, and the back. So you wasn't getting away easy even if you was close. You getting socked out in the front too. And here's the thing. Not everybody made it to the wall. I've seen people get so close, but they're getting socked so many times. They're just reaching their hand out, but they can't touch the wall because they just keep getting punched backwards. And then you have some cruel kids that sometimes they'll trip you on the way to the wall. And when they hit the floor, I've seen people get stomped out. And depending on who you're playing with, if you're playing with some real savages, they're not letting you up. You gotta crawl to the wall while you still getting stomped. We was playing this game as children, y'all. Middle school, high school. So let me know in the comment section if you played this game growing up and what did you call it in your city?